the Inter-Religious Council of Liberia, in collaboration with the National Council of Chi and Elders of Liberia, the Federation of Liberian Youth, the Office of the National Peace Ambassador, and the National Civil Society Council of Liberia, among others, express their regret on the manner in which the January 30th, January 6th, rather, Council of Patriots Peaceful Assembly ended. We condemn all forms of violence in our body politic. It asks all stakeholders to exercise civility and tolerance in resolving our, our issues of national concerns. The Interreligious Council and collaborative partner called on the government of Liberia in demonstration of good governance to continue to uphold or exhibit responsive, tolerant leadership in resolving the current political and economic hardships of the country. The dialogue and constructive engagement of all stakeholders commenced already through the current efforts that have been made by the IRCL, the international community and other actors must continue. The Council of Patriots is urged to continue to be responsible in the advocacy on national issues within the framework of respect for state authority and the rule of law to attain maximum results from its advocacy. We call on the international community to continue to remain engaged with the government and all stakeholders to continue to consolidate peace and stability in Liberia. We also will remain committed in our engagement and mediation that will lead to national dialogue where all stakeholders will be heard. We strongly regret the violent end of a peaceful protest and pray for all persons injured or molested and call for a speedy judicious process for all persons arrested. Liberia is all we have, therefore maintaining the peace and stability is the duty and shared responsibility of all citizens and residents. There is a need for moderation in our public discourses and also in the media. Lastly, we acknowledge that there are serious issues confronting us as a people and the need to sit among, around the table and hold discussions in a national dialogue that involves all stakeholders, including political parties, civil society, marketeers, students, business people, on the way forward. We let us remember that a government without the opposition is not a democratic one. A constructive opposition helps to build the state.